Coach Andersey, post Buffalo here, uh, 30, 30 to six win, dominating fashion, definitely. Uh, guys like Kogar going out, you know, getting a takedown in overtime. You got freshmen that are really stepping up. Him and Keith Witt looking real tough for you. But you know, what's the message of those younger guys? How are you getting those guys to step up like that? I just think it's it's our expectations, what our team, you know, what we expect out of guys, and uh, we go over it, we talk about it. It's up on the wall in our wrestling room. Um, we write out our goals for each kid, for each match, and. Uh, you know, it was a big match for a guy like Adam Kogar to, to go out and he pretty much dominated. You know, there wasn't a whole lot of action, but he pretty much seemed like he's never out of control. Um, forced all the action, did a good job and beat a, a good kid. You, uh, you got other guys like Danny Mitchell going out there and uh, Smith's no slouch. You know, he's a top 33 guy, a guy we'll probably see in Omaha, but Danny just goes on really turning the heat up. And, and we're not seeing that same attack that he had before. We're seeing, you know, high crotches. We're seeing singles. We're seeing barrel. We're seeing everything. He can shoot from everywhere. He can shoot double legs. But what's he doing differently, and how are you guys getting him to the next level? Um, he's just been training hard. You know, Danny's, Danny's at the point where he's a fifth-year guy. He, he knows what it takes. He's, he's been to the national tournament. He's been close to being an All-American. Um, the kid that uh, beat him last year in the running All-American, he beat handily at the Wendy's duels so he's he's doing a good job and he's really focused he knows what he wants to accomplish this year and uh, and he believes in it that's a, 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 the, one of those steps it's a step and he believes in that he can accomplish his goals and uh, you know his goals are pretty lofty which are good it, it, and I think like I said a lot of kids are just following his lead because he works extremely hard every day and and guys you know just keep up with Danny and D Danny and Dustin is what we say a lot in the room if you're keeping up with those two guys you're doing a good job you're keeping guys around like that, you know, uh, you're tapping into the local talent. Those guys are from about 45 minutes to an hour away, both of them. Uh, you're getting them out of a lot of the same clubs, you know, they wrestle together at All-American Wrestling Club as, as youth. But how important is it to tap into the, the local talent? It's, it's, it's pretty much our team, um, you know, it's kind of bizarre. There's kids that are going away to school and we're beating those schools on a consistent basis, but they're going away to ACC schools and, and Big Ten schools and we're able to beat them or compete with them. And, you know, it's part of kids thinking they need to go away to college. We're just looking for the kids that want to stay close to home or relatively close to home and, and uh, buying into what, we do, what we're doing. Um, and like I said, it's working. Like I said, we've lost a lot of kids to out-of-state schools, but that's part of the, the process. We did get uh, a kid from the Columbus area. We signed a kid from the, the PA area that, like I said, we feel real comfortable with that they're going to be able to step in next year on the possibility of starting a weight class. And, and it, you know, recruiting is probably the most important thing you do. Um, and like I said, it's one of those things you can't get nervous. You can't get, if you don't get certain guys, you just got to roll with the punches and look for the next year and, you know, and get kids that you know that will fit into your program. And there's kids out there that are younger that we've already been in contact with through email and letters that we feel real comfortable that we're going to be able to sign in the future. So, you know, it's, it's part of what you do and, and you just keep, you keep working hard at it. Do you feel the culture change has been complete here? This is your seventh year counting the interim year, correct? Yeah. Do, you, do you think the culture changed, the partying, the going out, and the guys getting crazy anymore? Do you think you, you've gotten away from that completely? I think so. I think, you know, if you, look, if you really sit down and talk to a lot of the, the kids on our team that are starters, um, that isn't part of their lifestyle. They don't do it in the soft season. They don't do it in – a kid like Dustin Kilgore has never touched a, a, an ounce of alcohol before. A kid like Danny Mitch, if I don't – you know, he just doesn't believe in that. So it's something that, you, you, you know, you know what's out there. You're on a college campus. It's going to happen at times. You just have to – Make sure your kids have the same goals that I have, and 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 they all understand it. Kids like Adam Kogar, he's a kid that you know just doesn't do those kind of things. So it's it's a it's a battle. As soon as you bring a new group of kids in, they don't understand it. They think they're they're at college for a few other reasons. What I think they're at college for. So you have to remind them, and you have to get them up early in the morning. You have to keep them out, you know do workouts at weird times to keep them away from the 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 social part of it. All right, coach, you got anything else for me? Oh. I you seem less and less abrave, abrasive the more we talk. What's going into that, man? Are your daughters making you uh, soft? I, I, <laughs> no. Um, good group of kids. Sometimes, you know, it's just it's part of, I don't know, it's just part of the, the atmosphere. We've got a good group of guys. They're young. we got one senior. Everyone else you saw today were all freshmen and sophomores. So it, it's, it's, like I said, it's a good young team. And we're not the greatest. You know, there's definitely areas that we have to improve in. But um, it makes it a little bit easier for me when kids – train like they do, you know, socially they behave like they're supposed to. Academic it was the best grade point average we've ever had in Kent State's history as far as wrestling team. Um, so there's a lot of things that I don't, I don't have to wor I worried about in the past where I don't need to worry about what we can focus on getting Danny Mitchell to the national to getting to the NCAA finals, getting Dustin Kilgore to the NCAA finals. That's what our goals are now rather than trying to get a kid from a 2.5 to a, to a 3.0. That's taking care of itself. So 
you know, it's my job's gotten a little bit easier, and the biggest thing is just getting good help around you. We've got guys that, you know, Andrew Wolf uh, has done a great job. Josh Moore's been a big reason where we're, 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 we're at because of him. Um, Drew Lashaway, you know, he's a kid that wrestled with these guys, and he's made that next step, and he's done a real good job as going from wrestler to coach. Um, you know, Danny Mitchell works out with uh, Scotty Burnett twice a week on his own time. Scotty Burnett's done great things for Danny, and, and it's, it's helped him out. And Scotty's worked with some other guys; he's done a good job. And he's a guy that we're hoping to try to get part of our program next year. And like I said, we're doing we're doing the right things, and, and the administration is supporting everything we're doing, which helps out also. All right, Big Jim. Thanks for the time. Thanks for being, you know, a kinder, gentler Andresi, and. Uh... Good luck the rest of the max stretch, man. Thank you. Oh, wait, wait, you want to say anything about the, the Ohio University Bobcats you'll see next Friday? No, I'm just looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to going down to OU and uh, having a good duel meet with them. All right, you sure? Oh, yeah, I'm real excited about it. All right, Coach, thanks for the time. Good luck.